And here comes Scoville. This is what. What is that? He's got a Nagorgi on himself. Butterfree, go! Yo, whoa, what is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. Pretty guys, another episode of our Pokemon Xenoverse Nuzlocke Let's Play. If you guys are excited for this one, and I know you guys are, destroy the like button down below. You guys already know it. Listen. Here's the dealio. 6,000 likes means a bonus episode. You guys already know that. I have not explored the rest of the ship, but if you're under a crustle or something, you missed the last episode, go check it out before I give you spoilers because I'm exploring this place. I don't know what to expect. I don't know if I'm supposed to walk through that door before. I really haven't explored, so I'm gonna just kind of wander around this ship. Oh, here's a patch of grass. Hello? This reserve is a perfect place to test the battling skills of grunts fresh out of the assembly line. Do I get an encounter here? Oh, I guess I do. It's a coin coin. Wait a minute, that's actually really nice. Um, okay, I mean, I guess I'll catch him. Not that I need a coin coin, but I'll boom burst and see how much it does. And yeah, that's good. I'll try to catch him. Um, why is there a patch of grass in this ship? Um, let's go over the ultra ball and try to catch him. But uh, yeah, like I said, we're gonna explore the rest of the ship. We're gonna advance here, see what's going down with Team Dimension. We're kind of end game right now. So who knows even what's going on? I have no idea what's going on, but we're gonna find out, man. I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. But there's our coin coin. We caught that thing pretty easily. We're gonna name him Money Hunt Her Money Money. Because you already know. And hey, you can just go to the PC. That's cool. I wonder if there's anything else cool in this grass. It's a clink. I could have had a clink. But no, I got coin coin. Which is pretty good. I'll see if there's anything else. Maybe there's some super cool space rod shoe or something. A Layron. Meh. I think I'm just gonna keep looking around. Okay, so there's another laser barrier here. So it seems like this place is like actually stacked. We'll go in this door and see what's going on behind door number whatever this door is. Hello? Oh, there's an item. Hyper potion. Oh, multiple hyper potions? Oh, thank you. Are you guys trainers? Oh, I gotta battle all you guys. Okay, well, I guess I'm battling all these scientists. This is good XP. So listen, I'm not even gonna be mad about it. Let me beat these guys up. If anything cool happens, I'll let you guys know. A Malamar. Okay, Dark Psychic, so sound is not good. I think we're all right against this. I mean, he might go for like a fighting move, but I could just Lava Plume, maybe burn him. There's it, there's the burn. We just we just eliminated the Malamar, even with Superpower, yeah. So that could have been, Malamar is kind of scary. If it starts Superpowering, gets those Contrary boosts. This one, I don't even think it's Contrary. I don't even think you got a boost, I don't know. But anyway, we'll beat that. Like I said, I'm gonna just beat up these trainers and then uh, I'll keep you guys posted on anything cool that happens. Reindeer, what is that? Yo, that's the evolved form of the reindeer. Bro, what happened to it? What happened to it? The little reindeer, it was so cute. And then this, what happened to you, little reindeer? What happened? I'm so sorry. Everyone has a dark side. They never show just like the moon. Is that what that little thing is? I have no idea. Wearing the suit makes me want to fight so bad. His name is Alfred. Wait, why aren't you, don't you have like a fancy name? That's very strange, Alfred. Are you up to no good, sir? He's got a Layron, they all do. Let me tell you how Layron really makes me nervous though. And here's why it makes me nervous. Well, one, I guess he could have like a rock move or something like that. But the reason why Layron makes me very nervous is because he could have Metal Burst. And I know that that's not like a super realistic thing, right? Like what are the chances that he actually just clicks Metal Burst on, you know, on a on a hit that knocks him to one HP and he has 30? Pretty slim, right? Pretty slim, but, well now I don't have to worry because he just, oh, he's got Rockhead. So now I know he's not gonna have Sturdy. But I'm always so nervous when I see things that have Sturdy like later on that could Metal Burst me because if I lose a Pokemon to that, I'm gonna be very angry. Here comes a Scar, oh, of course it's a Skarmory every time. Um, well, this is easy to beat. We can just go Time Wizard, so I'll just blow this thing back. Everything's got sturdy, man. All these Steel types. It's a good thing I have two Fire types and then some. Oh, I just remembered. Someone left a comment and told me I can teach Flash Cannon to our, uh, Ryoko. So, let me try that after this battle. I just thought of it. Speaking of Steel types, Skarmory. Who doesn't have sturdy either? Okay, everyone's just playing, playing games today. Who knows? It can learn Flash Cannon. How wonderful is that? I love seeing that. All right, well, then I can get rid of, um... Honestly, I'm thinking about getting rid of Volt Switch. I feel like this is the kind of Pokemon that we don't, I don't know. Like Thunderbolt's really good. Volt Switch is also really nice. I, I kind of like Perfect Glare because I feel like it's a signature move. 
So it's like, do I, I mean, I could also just volt switch out on things too. Um, it's good for fairies. I think I'm gonna stick to what I have for now, actually. I don't know if I wanna, I wanna do that. But what I did think about doing that was kind of a cool idea was we had gotten substitute recently and I was like, how can I make nanners better? And I feel like substitute is actually the answer. I really don't see synthesis being, or Bruce being something that I use a lot, whereas substitute is something that I can see myself using a lot, so. Um, Cause I could always use potion, so I think that that's a good change. Let's keep looking. And we got another guy here, 88UI. Let's see what you've got. We're trying to explore the whole ship, so. What do you got for me, big dog? He's got two mons. They all have like two Pokemon. Steel types. Blingrudge, yes. I don't mind facing these Blingrudges, man. I, you just earthquake them and then they get kind of blown back. So it's a, really a non-issue. See you later, Blingrudge. Have a wonderful afternoon. Enjoy the sunshine. Goodbye. See you later. All right, easy level 57. And what else you got for me? A Houndoom. Same kind of thing though. Like, I feel like we just quick earthquake. Like, what is a Houndoom doing to me? I'm like a better Houndoom. I'm like an evil sound type fire dog crazy different dimension monster. I don't need no Houndoom. More Hyper po They're really hooking me up with Hyper Potions, aren't they? Okay, so <clears throat> big surprise. I've concluded that our natural progression is to actually just go forward here. So let's go through the door, door number three and see what's going on in inside. Oh, more trainers. All right, we got my man QX11. What do you got for me? Cause I'm about to bop you with some hammers and some arms and some very large horns. Yeah, Lancelot's in front, let's get it. What do you got for me? A Roselia, Oh yeah. Catch this, catch this mega horn. You guys are about to see the pure power that is Lancelot, if anyone ever doubted it. Petal Blizzard, eat that for breakfast. It's like those po poison Oreos. <laughs> I don't know why in the last episode I said that I was eating poison Oreos, I have no idea. Chima Ooze. All right, here's the Chima Ooze. Now, this is where, you know, me going for a ground move is solid. I don't have any ground moves to use. I can go Terror though, because I feel like Psychic probably just obliterates this thing. Although, I guess he could be Dark type, and I just didn't realize it, and I might give him back right now. He's gonna Acid Armor. All right, I haven't seen this thing do anything other than like Acid Armor and Gunk Shot. So we're gonna just Psychic and hope for the best. This should one shot anyway. Yeah, dude. Terror is just, <laughs> Terror is ridiculous. This thing is so powerful. All right, word, so that was easy. Yeah, we got some, not XP at all. That thing gives zero XP, jeez, okay. Glad to see him getting ripped off. Let's heal. And another door, what's behind this door? More grunts, oh my God, there, there you have so many people. Oh, another trainer, Nancy wants to battle me. I swear, like every corridor I go into, it's just like, oh, here's another Team Dimension grunt that wants to battle me with some steel type that does the earthquake. Oh, that's not, that's not that. Oh, I found out that this is the thing that evolves in the other thing. Yeah, I know that was a great description. Um, <laughs> we, we ran into a Pokemon in the last episode and uh, this is the thing that evolves into it is what I was trying to say. Fairy is weak to sound. Hold on. Uh, dragon is good against sound. No, dragon is good against sound. But is this fairy? I don't know what this is. But you know what, I think Fibrato is a good bet anyway. Cause you know, this is a really cool Pokemon but it evolves into that, the, 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 the taller cat that we saw yesterday in the last episode, or two days ago in the last episode. Um, so I know what this thing is now. It's it's it, it's not as cool when it evolves, all right? So if you guys, oh, it is weak. When I found this thing, I originally was like, oh my God, I wish I found this instead of dust me, but clearly that's not the case anymore. You know, things change. Um, I, I think I one shot an Electabuzz buzz with Earthquake, so I'm just gonna knock it out. Uh, normally we wanna be careful of electro types, obviously, but in this case we're fine. And then what else you got? A Magneton. I always get so sketched out with Magnetons, man. Always do, because I want to, I want to just knock them out, but I know that they can have Sturdy, so we have to just be so mindful of Sturdy. I really wish I had, I should see if anyone could learn Stealth Rocks on my team. I know I had a perfectly good Stealth Rock Pokemon at one point, and it's in the in the PC, but I do want to um, just see, because it could be really useful uh, going into some of the late game here. So, easy peasy though. I don't know why I thought I had a Stealth Rock TM. I, I don't have Stealth Rock as a TM, just kidding. Oh, yo, this is amazing. This X control just went for dig and I earthquake it. <laughs> oh my God, you gotta love that, dude. Sorry, I'm just battling this random scientist. His X control thought he was all clever going for dig. No, 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 you're not. I'll take a rare candy, thank you very much. Yo, this grunt's chilling with an Umbreon. That's kind of fire, but uh, I happen to have the Umbreon Destroyer of Souls. Goodbye. <laughs> 
I should probably train someone else that's not Lancelot because I'm basically just one-shotting every dimension grunt right now with this monster beetle. And, uh, you know, maybe someone else should get some love. I, I kind of want to use Terra, but I feel like Terra's like kind of a weird spot here because he's, he's kind of slow and stuff. I don't know. I guess I'll use him. Oh, there's a red laser barrier too. Okay, so we have multiple barriers that we have to deactivate. There's a blue barrier and a red barrier. So something tells me we have a long ways to go on this ship still. Oh snap, this guy has an ego hiss themselves. Look at that. This, these Team Dimension grunts aren't playing games, man. He really was like, yo, I'm gonna send out my ego hiss. How did you get that? Who, who's, excuse me. Who sent you this thing? Who was like, yes, you can have this incredible pseudo legendary dragon that we're gonna give the protagonist a drive instead. No, no, no. I'm going to send in terror and finish you off now that I've leech seated you. That's cool though that they have this. I hope I don't get paralyzed. I only have 32 more full heals. Yeah, I think we're good guys. I think we'll be all right. I, I, something tells me he's not rocking an Evia light on his snake like me, you know what I mean? His brain doesn't see as big as mine despite the fact that he's got a space helmet on. Get obliterated, give me that extra level. 56, baby, let's keep it rocking. All right, what's the surprise under door number seven? We've gotta get to something soon, right? Oh, there's another Porygon Center, okay, sure. At least they scatter them throughout, that's kinda nice. I'll heal. This place is massive, like I'm just gonna be real. Um, there's another blue barrier that I can't get through, so I guess we'll go this way. Oh, look at that, he's got his correct note too. We both have them. I'm gonna assume mine's better though. Oh God, this was a terrible idea, wasn't it? Oh, we're okay. Woo! <laughs> okay, okay, reminder to myself. Do not make bad plays right now. We are in the end game, okay? I can't, and I have to remember that I have life orb because that's scary too. Um, oh God, I would normally be so good here. Just, just chilling. Um, so what is he? He's psychic and ghost? Do I have anything for that? Not really, to be honest. Um, I guess I just go crazy, amazing pseudo dragon and just start bopping him. Cause otherwise I'm gonna be in trouble, so let's do that. Uh, tell me how this thing kind of, tell me how this thing kind of wrecks me a little bit. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. Why is this thing so strong? Like, I mean, I know how I have one too. Oh, he's gonna turn me into a ghost type. Now I gotta Volt Switch out. Like, this thing is a problem, homie. Like, if he has a, and this is a much lower level, like what happens when, when I gotta face one of these that's like actually a good level? That's pretty sketch, dude. Uh, I think Fibrato's okay here. Oh yeah, because he resists sound too? I gotta be careful with that. I can't just click click Boom Burst either because he's gonna resist my sound type attacks. I don't know. But I'll grab so Yeah, he's got a Scarfosmo. He does have one. But I'm such a high level, so I think we're okay. But jeez. Yeah, we're fine. I got a crit there. He's, he's gonna be doing very little damage. But this guy's got the whole dang family here and we know that this is gonna be resisted, but... All good. I'm gonna hit that Porygon Center again, heal, and then we'll, like I said, keep looking around and hopefully not run into any ghost types because I've just exploited a very big weakness on my team. No one will ever know that the only way to disable the security system is in the air duct. You were not eavesdropping, right? I have figured it out. We must go to the air ducts. Nanners, it's your time, buddy, to go to the air ducts because you're kind of like a pineapple duck. Oh, this is the thing I was talking about. Fatal, Fatal. Yeah, it's like fairy type, I think, but it's gonna get blown back by this psychic move. Unless he's psychic too, which, I mean, I guess he's not gonna get blown back in that case. But I think he's fairy. Yeah, oh, that's, he's fairy poison, I think. Which is kinda sick, actually, it's a sick typing. Fairy poison. And what else we got here? A Porygon Z. Now, a Porygon Z can learn dark, oh God, he got a special attack boost. Um. He can learn Dark Pulse, which has me a little concerned. What are the chances he Dark Pulses though? Like pretty small, I would think. I'm just gonna Psychic. He's gonna Discharge. Ugh. Okay, we're good. Woo. Oh, he lived that. How are you gonna live that, bro? All right, I gotta switch out, but that's okay. Um, I will go, I'll go Time Wizard to take whatever hit he goes for, cause he's not gonna go for a normal move and then I'll knock him out on the following turn. Just play the save. Yeah, he's gonna Discharge again, that's fine. No para. Good. Okay, uh, we can just uh, Lava Plume finish him off. Sweet, all right, so I think I know exactly which way to go now. And uh, I think we're close to whatever the next boss is. We've gotta be close, because I've taken on so many battles. Oh yeah, something tells me it's this ladder, this purple ladder up to Oblivion. Probably, oh, Pokemon wants to go into the air duct. Oh, well then I know what I have to do now. 
Oh, and there's little, oh. Okay, well let's try the air duct again. <laughs> Oops. That's a cool little thing though. Oh, there's magnemites everywhere up in here, huh? Oh, sneaky magnemite down there. Oh, no, no, he saw me, his eyes so big. Oh, did I find it? Is this the place? Oh, wow, that's a tricky. How do you how do you get past this magnemite? Oh, I know how. Okay. And go. Max revive. That's what I just hustled all the way in this corner for. Oh god. No, don't see me. Don't see me. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm doing good right now, actually. I'm kind of just zooming, but we're doing good. Oh, this has got to be it. How do you get by this guy without him seeing you? There's no way. This has gotta be the way to go, but there's no way he doesn't see me. Yeah, oh, maybe I don't have to go that corner? I don't know, I'll look again. Oh, I definitely found it. The switch is turned off, do you wanna turn it back on? Yes, please. And I can go back to the entrance. Yeah, so I figured out that, and then now I can leave. And hopefully all the ducks will be open now. And if so, it's about to be crazy. Oh yeah, we've, uh, we've opened everything. So I think, I don't know what what we're about to do, but we've opened it all. Oh yeah, what's behind door number, whatever. This, I feel like this is the end game here. Oh yeah, there's Aster. But I never explored through the other places. I'm gonna actually double back because I feel like there's so many places I did not explore even though I just unlocked this duck. I wanna go look a little bit because I feel like, I said Aster, but it was, oh, I didn't unlock all of them. Yeah, okay, so I think this is the place I gotta go. All right, let's see what we got here. We've got, it's Dahlia. We remember Dahlia from the train. And you seriously thought you were gonna take me down so easily, ha <laughs> ha. Oh, here comes the buzzkill I've been waiting for, A-Drive. What happened, Alice? You know, your little fella here wasn't as good as a warm-up. A-Drive, I'm sorry. Yeah? I tried so hard, but sadly I had no chance against her. She's too strong. You got that right, kiddo. It's all thanks to the general that my party could cross its limits and acquire all this power. And thus, I'm finally gonna take my revenge for the humiliation you gave me in front of the general, A-Drive. You'll see, I'm gonna mess you up. A-Drive, I'm counting on you. You can do this, come on. All right, so if we remember Dahlia, she had the Scoville. Oh, she's gonna she's gonna let me and Alice live forever in happy, happy La La Land. She had the Scoville and I know, I'm not sure. So she's got four Pokemon. She's got Volplume, so I need to be mindful of that Scoville because if it has a dragon move, it's very problematic. Time Quiz is in the front here for Volplume. I'm just gonna click Lava Plume and I think that should do a lot. Yeah, we just beat it. Wait, it's got a Focus Sash. And it's gonna sludge bomb? Oh, don't tell me you just... Oh, I'm living on one, I'm living on one. Okay, okay, okay. You gotta be kidding me. That was a, that was really a thing that just happened. It really just, it really just did that. Okay, well, I'm gonna go Nanners. And he's gonna switch out and go Vespaquen, okay. This is fine. I need to use this opportunity to heal. I'm just gonna throw up a, le a Leech Seed on this Vespaquen and see what it wants to do. It's gonna attack order me. That's fine, I can't be crit. I'm gonna get some healing back. I'm gonna just take this opportunity to heal up because I, I really wanna keep the team safe. Um, I actually could sub, let's Spiky Shield. Let's see what he wants to do. He's gonna attack order, that means, uh, okay, so I guess attack order doesn't take the damage from Spiky Shield in this case. If I can get a substitute up here though, that could be really clutch, so let's try that. Actually, if I drop kick, then I definitely get a substitute up. Let me try this sub first. Power jam, oh, I'm, I think I'm resisting that. Yeah, okay, good, 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 good. This is exactly what Nanners is here to do. Exactly what Nanners is here to do. Okay, this is really good news. Now I am going to, I gotta heal. Uh, let's hyper potion up time wizard to full and then I gotta heal the poison too. So I actually need both turns. Here comes another power jam. I'm not even sure that's gonna break it. It doesn't even break the sub. Oh my God, Nanners, Nanners, you're too good. Okay, now I'm gonna heal that poison off because I am not leaving that poison there. I, I can't believe we lived on one, dude. Oh my God, okay. Um, wow. Okay, so we're healed up. He's good to go. Here's another, a third power gem. It does break my sub this time. But again, why would I not just click sub again? Worst case scenario is attack order does break the sub. 
and then I drop kick it and then sub again. Yeah, it does break the sub. Okay. So we know this now. It's not a big deal. I think what I do now is I can drop kick and I can end up leaving this battle with a substitute. So that's what I'm looking for. I want to drop kick it. I'm going to do very minimal, but it's going to put me in a situation where I should be able to have a substitute. Oh, he's got bug buzz too. Bug buzz goes through subs. So that kind of changes that. So maybe I don't get a sub up then if I'm being honest. Yeah, I think I just I think I just take my my dub here. I tried to spiky shield and it fails because the, the move is bugged. So that's annoying. Um, okay, well listen, I beat the best for Quan. I got a good amount of health. Uh spiky shield is bugged. Protect is bugged in this game. It's it's very frustrating. And here comes Scoville. This is what What is that? I don't even know what type it is. I don't even know what's going on right now. Okay, I think I go Ryoko to catch a fire move. I gotta see if this thing's electric or if it's still fire and grass. Flamethrower, okay. That does nothing. Okay, now I, I feel like I wanna Volt Switch because I wanna see what he's gonna do otherwise. Does he have a dragon move? Does he have something else? So let me Volt Switch out of here, see if he's Electric type, see what we got going on. Okay, so he's definitely Electric type, right? So let's go Time Wizard and see what he's gonna do against Time Wizard right now. He's gonna Thunderbolt. Okay, so he showed me a Fire move and an, and a, and an Electric move. Um, Do I Lava Plume? He's got Sludge Bomb as well. What is with these Sludge Bombs? Eight Wait, I just knocked him out. Why are you still alive? I have no idea. You know what though? I'm just gonna go Ryoko here. Wait, why are you still- I legitimately knocked you out. You have no health, Scoville. What are you doing? He has energy ball. What is this thing? He's electric and what? Oh, he gets the special defense drop. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna Volt Switch out then. What type is that thing? I have no idea, but that should have just knocked him out. We're going Fibrato. I think he's electric grass? Like, why are you still alive? Okay, we beat the Scoville. That's good. And here comes Toxapex. Water poison? Water's weak to sound, so we could just boom burst, right? Yeah, that's good. Okay, okay, Dahlia, we're doing it. That Fibrato, or that, uh, here's Vile Plume. And it's only got one health, so we just Lava Plume. Okay, we beat Dahlia, I'm very happy with that. All right, that was good. That was actually really good. That was actually really good. Okay, she's not happy about it. What was that Scoville? Darn it, darn it, the Pokemon the general gave me was supposed to be invincible. How will I face my beloved again if I can't take down a ragged band of brats with its help? Why are you so invested in what he thinks about you? I can understand how you feel, but this isn't love. This is obsession. What does a kid like you know about love? More than you think, Dahlia. When I started my journey, I felt insecure about everything, but then I met lots of people, amazing people who made me grow as a person, making me understand what I'm really made of. Character development? Contrary to what I've done at the beginning, I've never given up against problems, so I became stronger. But I did it only for myself, not for someone else. People around you are there to mold you as they please, but to support the changes you want to make. And if they don't, then it means they're just taking advantage of feelings they don't deserve. Trust me. Yo, Alice speaking straight facts right now. Okay. I see you, Alice. I can understand all this thanks to a very special boy. Uh-oh. What was that? Something. A turbulence. We should be getting close now. To the moon? We're going to the moon. Listen, kiddo, you may not be an ace as a trainer, but I gotta say you're pretty good with words. A drive, I'm letting you go this time, but you better scram before I change my mind. All right. We're about to land on the moon, and this means we're running out of time. You gotta go. I'll stay here to comfort Dahlia and regain my energy. We'll save your father, I promise. But let me heal your Pokemon. Oh, thanks for the heals. I needed that. Okay. Now we gotta go. Are we going through this door? Oh, we're going through this door. Oh, boy. There's another locked door back here. I don't think I can actually go this way. Oh, I guess I gotta battle these dudes too and they're in the way. So let me battle these grunts and then I don't think I can go through the door. I think I have to backtrack through the ship it looks like. 
Oh, this guy's got a straight up Electivire. Jeez. This game all of a sudden, like, I feel like we're facing, like, real threats now. But I think I'm okay against an Electivire. I mean, I guess he could hurt me with, like, a Cross Chop or something. And yeah, he's gonna do Thunderbolt. We'll be all right. And Lava Plume should finish him off. There it is. Okay. Not too bad. Time Wizard does his thing. You already know. All right. I think there's one more grunt up here. All right. Another mystery door. What's behind this one? Oh, more grunts, of course. I guess I'll battle you two. All right. Let's head through this door. There is a red carpet here. I think we are headed towards whatever we're about to do. Uh, another door? Excuse another red carp. Oh, there we go. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're ready. Victor, there's no way out now. Stop this madness and bring Versal back, or you'll have to deal with the fury of my Pokemon. Oh, Aster, do you seriously think I'm that foolish? I am well aware that I would never have a chance against you, so I played it smart. You should have been more careful before just rushing here, don't you think? Enough with your rambling, Victor. Go, Suicune! What, what? What's wrong with my Pokemon? Huh, I would say you took the bait like a Magikarp. This scepter of mine is not just a mere ornament, but an avant-garde device whose function is to cause interference with the opening mechanism of Pokeballs. What? That means? Yes, indeed, my dear Aster. It means you won't be able to count on your loyal Pokemon for a while. As a man of science, you should know by now the mind always wins against brute force. Ah, uh, this isn't gonna end well. But I'm here, don't worry. Hi, it's me again. Watch out, A-Drive, he ambushed us. We can't use our Pokemon against him. My trap's effects are limited to one single individual, so if I may, I'd rather take the most formidable opponent out of the game, Aster, and handle anyone else myself. I'm not foolish enough to broadcast that A-Drive is not going to feel the effects of it. If I hadn't assumed all this in advance, wouldn't you say? I will personally put an end to this succession of despicable failures Team Dimension is stained at the hands of this youngster. So let me tell you, Victor, this is really a bad play. You took precautionary measures against me, and that was far-sighted of you. But you made the biggest mistake underestimating A-Drive. Everything is at stake in this battle, A-Drive! Prove him wrong, and let's bring your father back! You're not gonna accomplish anything, scoundrels. These four metal walls will be your grave. On guard! All right, it's time to throw down. We have been waiting for this moment. So I don't know what he's gonna have, but we're assuming he's gonna have that crazy Tyranitar. So let's see what the general... He's got a Cricket soon. okay. I led with Fibrato here and he's level 54, so we're probably okay. Let's go for Lava Plume. Let's see what this thing wants to do. He's got a Focus Sash. He goes for Parish Song. Okay, um, that's a little scary, I think. I think it's in my best bet to just swap out here, right? Because I really don't want to put myself in a situation where we get trapped by like a shadow tag Pokemon. So let's go Time Wizard and see what he wants to do. He's going to full restore the Cricketoon. Okay, that's fine. And his Parish count fell. I'm going to just click Thunderbolt, I think. And if he's Sound Type, which I believe he is, this is super effective. Okay, so we beat the Cricketoon. That's a good start. Not too bad. And Parish Song is no longer a thing. And here comes the Tyranitar. Okay. Now, I don't know what type he is. We are a higher level. I'm going to assume I'm faster, so I'm going to Volt Switch. I am faster. And I'm going to Chunk him pretty good, actually. And let's go Nanners. He's going to be Bug? It looks like he's Bug and what? He goes for a Rock Slide. Okay. That does a good Chunk to us. But we got Leftovers. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a Leech Seed, I think, and see what he's gonna do. He goes for Rock Slide again? Maybe he's trying to flinch me? I mean, I'll take it. I'm gonna get Leech Seed back. He's got a lot of HP. That's a lot of health. Okay, I'm gonna Drop Kick then and drop his attack stat. He can't crit me, remember, we have Shell Armor. Maybe I can get up a Substitute against him. He's gonna Crunch. No Defense Drop. We're right on the cusp of, I think, Substitute maybe allowing us to live. And if I can if I can get a Substitute up, this is going to be huge. He's going to Forest Store. This is my sub. I got my sub up. Oh, this is huge. Okay. Okay, this is huge. I'm going to Spiky Shield now. Although we know Spiky Shield is a little bit bugged in this game. But we're going to try it. We'll protect his bugs. But Spiky Shield does work. 
And he Earthquake. Oh, he has Earthquake. Okay. But you know what? Oh, I've seen what? Crunch, Rock Slide, Earthquake, I think we saw. Let's Drop Kick and drop his attack again. He must be rocking, Bug. He Rock Slides? Doesn't even break the sub. Doesn't even break the substitute, bro. Yo, this is the trap we're looking for right here. This is exactly what we want. We're gonna Drop Kick again. Drop his attack stat. This is where if I had like Iron Defense, I feel like I could just sweep with that, but. Does he break my sub? He does break my sub, but that's okay, because I don't know if he can break it again. And again, he can't crit me. So I'm clicking sub again. I'll set up another substitute. He's gonna leech life, but he can't crit me. And he doesn't break our sub, dude. We are in here, baby. Nanners is doing it. Nanners, the sub seed legend. I just click drop kick. We beat his ace, dude. Tyranitar's gone. Let's go, Nanners. Nanners, you did it. Good stuff, Nanners. You really are. You really are the pineapple we needed. Here comes a Malamar. Okay. Wait, where's my substitute? Do I not have a substitute? How did it go away? Did he fade it? I think it went away. Okay, Malamar is a problem because if he superpowers me, it gets very problematic very fast. Very problematic very fast. And he almost certainly is going to superpower me. Okay. I could go Terror, predicting the superpower, and then swap out into something like Ryoko, and then start firing off big hits. I'm going to make a very bold prediction that he's going to superpower right now. I'm a Steel type. It's got to be what he's going to do. Superpower. <sighs> okay. Okay, I baited him with the superpower. Now... I think I go either Fibrato or Ryoko, and I just start bopping him as hard as I can. I think, who hits harder? Ryoko's got 184, yeah, Ryoko definitely hits harder. Especially since he's gonna resist. He's gonna resist me going for Boom Burst because he's a Psychic type. So let's go Ryoko, and we're gonna fire off some Thunderbolts. He's gonna Night Slash, but he's not boosted attack. He crit me. I can live another one. I'm gonna Thunderbolt, I think. Okay, big damage. He nice slashes, no crits. Okay, Thunderbolt again. Yes. Okay, Malamar's gone, baby, let's go. That's three down, I think. He's got a Nagorgi on himself. Mine's a higher level, but there's no way I'm gonna one-shot him. What nature do I have? I don't, I have EVs. I don't know if I trust that I'm faster. I don't know what to expect right now, guys. I really don't know what to expect right now. Um, I think I go Nanners. I want a Volt Switch, but I think it's stupid. Let's just go Nanners and see what he's gonna do. Maybe I can set up a Leech Seed on him. He goes for Draco Meteor. Oh, okay. He loses special attack though, and he's got a white herb. Okay. Now, is Nanners faster than, I don't wanna click switch and I wanna look at summary. 184 and Nanners is 137. So, it's unlikely that Nanners is faster. I think my play is Leech Seed though. I've, guys, I've had an Agorgi out of my team and it has not learned any fire moves. If this thing goes for a fire move right now, I'm gonna be really salty. He's gonna Draco again. And we tank, but he gets the special attack drop this time. And I get a leech seed. Oh, Nanners. You're doing it, Nanners. You're really doing it right now. You're really doing it, Nanners. You're really doing it. I'm healing up. I'm healing up. Draco Meteor, dude. He just Dracos again. And he can't crit me, though. He can't crit me. I can set up all over him. Let's go, Nanners. Let's go. Dude, if that's all he has. If that's all he has, we just set up on him with sub. Although I'm not sure what happened to our sub suit last time, but he's gonna hiss. Oh, he drops my special defense. Okay, I see the play, I see the play. But, but, he's gonna continuously drop his special attack every time he goes for Draco Meteor. So, I'll spiky shield. It works. That's good. He has Thunderbolt, and he can't use it, baby. He can't use it. 
Do you lose your sub if you spiky shield? No, I still have a sub. Okay, it just disappears. So you know what? I probably still had a sub earlier and I just didn't realize it. He's gonna Draco again. He breaks my sub, but I can set up another one. And I can just Nanners this Zogorgion to obliteration, dude. I mean, listen, why wouldn't I? This seems like the great play. Why wouldn't I do this? Okay, um, I use one potion. I'm gonna use another one because Ryoko could use some love. Just in case. I don't want to take anything for granted in this battle. I should tank this. This should be doing nothing. And the fact that I can't be crit is just mind-blowing, guys. It's so good, dude. And now it's resisted, but I will drop kick. I don't even know if this breaks my sub, to be honest. It does. I should have substituted then. I should have substituted. I could have had a free sub up. But... Nanners beats the Agorgion! And what else he got for me? He has one left, right? I don't want to choke this. Hypno! I have to assume a Hypno is not going to beat me. I'm going to sub? I am minus two special defense, though. I am minus two special defense. Okay. Um, Hypno is psychic. I don't want to let him, like, nasty plot or something. I think my play is... I think I go Ryoko. Hypno might be sound type in this game too, I don't know. He has Focus Blast, bro! I saw that coming! I had a feeling, dude. I didn't say it out loud, but I had a feeling. I had a feeling that he might have Focus Blast. Oh, he's sound type. He does have Nasty Blood too! Bro, I have made every right play and I'm so proud of myself. Oh my gosh, okay. Woo! Let's go. Something tells me there's no way this is it though. Like there's no way this is it. I should have planned the situation more carefully. There's no way that's all he has. There's just no way. Requiem of the end. Got anything to say, Victor? Varysal Sun is everything it takes to be the very best. I should have planned the situation more carefully. I never have thought that anyone other than Aster could foil my plans, but it seems I was fatally wrong. It's obvious now that I was the inept one for understanding the menace rather than my soldiers. Your impudence was your doom, and now you're gonna face the consequences! Victor, bring us to Varysal now! After such a display of power, I can only comply with any resistance. Follow me, I'll lead you to him. A little more patience, please, we're almost there. The deepest room in the spaceship. What better place to hold Varsal? Your dear man is behind these doors, locked inside by a code only I possess. I held my side of the bargain. Now do what you must. Don't even think about moving from there, Victor. Once we're done here, we'll make sure you're delivered to justice so that you can pay for your crimes. A-Drive, me and your mother had no clue about Varsal's whereabouts. Then, like a thunder on a sunny day, your burning wish to find him make your blood boil making you partake in a journey, an adventure during which you surrounded yourself with trustful companions, facing harder challenges. And those challenges lead you here, just one step before finally meeting with your father. You were successful where we adults failed, so I think it's fair you're the first one to enter. Go, reunite with your old man after all this time. Guys, it is time for us to finally see our father, Versal, right here, right now on the next episode of Pokemon Xenoverse Nuzlocke. Don't you dare spoil in the comment section below. I will ban you from the channel forever. Like the video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. 6,000 likes, bonus episode on Sunday. We're walking through that door and we're gonna find out what surprises Xenoverse has in store. Do not spoil, don't be that guy. Let's do it. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Smash that like goal like I know you guys can and we'll be back for Xenoverse on the next one. Peace.